Okay guys, so I just finished uploading the video of the Hawkeye Mondo. So I thought I'd do this one straight away. Uh, I just got this this week. Uh, this is Blade 2 by an American artist called Mike Sutfin. I'm really impressed with this. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, I've actually got a, a safe search on eBay uh, for Mondos. Just to see what comes up, see if anything sort of grabs my attention. And this one popped up, very, very cheap. Uh, it was in the UK for £30 starting bid. I really liked it, so I thought I'm going to watch that, um, depending on what it goes for. Uh, place a bid, and I was the only one to bid. So I got it for £30 plus postage. Uh, which I thought was really good. Uh, I'd done a bit of research and it seems that for whatever reason this uh, Mondo print isn't too popular uh, going on the aftermarket prices. Uh, you, they don't pop up that often, it is quite limited uh, but when they do it's quite reasonably priced uh, generally in America though. Uh, no idea though why it's not so popular. I think the detail on it is really really impressive. Uh, this is the regular version. A lot of Mondos come in a regular and a variant. Uh, this is the regular which is edition size on this one. If my camera will focus 175 and this is number 158 and the variant is limited to only 75 pieces worldwide. Now I'm not sure but I think this one's been signed by the artist. It's hard to make out but it looks like it could be Mike Sutphin but I'm not sure about that. Yeah so the variant is a bit more colourful, uh, reds and blues a lot of the time I actually prefer the regulars, uh, but I think in this case I do like the variant a bit better. Um, but being limited to just 75 pieces, obviously it's going to be pretty hard to pick up. But I'm more than happy with this one. Now, I don't know too much about the artist on this. Uh, he's only done a couple of works from Mondo from what I can see that's this one and a pretty cool looking Lord of the Rings uh, print uh, but I've looked on his website and he does a lot of um, work with a Japanese toy company designing vinyl uh, toy collectibles I'll put a link to his website um, in the description I'll do that with all my Mondo videos I'll put a link to the artist website if you like their work uh, you can go and check out their website and see if there's anything that you're interested in uh, just the detail there on the Reaper really really cool and as with most Mondos I find when you see the pictures I said this in the Hawkeye video you can't really see all the detail that's in them. I mean, you can see there the zombies on the roof of the tunnel and the shadows and the, the bats, the gleam of his sword. Really great likeness of Wesley Snipes. Just a really, really nice print. I'm really happy that I managed to get this, especially for such a good price. So again, let me know what you think. Uh, if you need any more details about Mondo prints and how to get them, uh, feel free to send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, don't worry if you uh, like seeing my statue reviews if there's anyone that does. <laughs> um, 
It's just going through a bit of a dry spell at the moment, but I've got a few pre-orders due uh, this month. So I should be having a few more statues to review then. Um, but I've got quite a few of these Mondos, so I'll be doing these in the meantime. I'm not sure the next one. I've been asked by Yardman5 to do a video of my Dread Mondo and how I've got it displayed with my Dread statue, so I'll be doing that one next. Um, and I've also got quite a few Mondos due in. I've got the Man of Steel, uh, Elysium, Sucker Punch, uh, the two, two of the newly released Hitchcock ones. Um, so they're all due within the next few weeks. So I look forward to showing you those. And I've got a few more in storage, uh, which I'll get out and do videos for you. Okay, so that's the Blade 2 Mondo by Mike Sutphin. I'll uh, see you again soon.